Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolena TV. I hope you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. On this analysis, I want us to go to a concern that has been shared by Otiende Amolo. Now, reading mischief on the move, according to Otiende, who spoke to our senior reporter Elizabeth Motoku, the only way out, according to the Constitution, is for Parliament to pass a repeal bill on the same day the Finance Committee report on the Finance Act. Now, Otiende is proposing a total repeal of the whole finance bill, which is a shift from what Moses Otangula is planning. You know, Moses Wetangula has a plan for the finance bill that William Bruto rejected. But Otiende Amolo reads malice. So I want us to go to this statement that Otiende Amolo issued. But, so before we get there, please like this video. so important. And thanks so much for those who have been uh, liking our videos. I don't take that for granted. Subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed before. To existing subscribers, thank you so much for your support. A repeal bill is needed that should seek to delete all clauses of the bill and part of that is to amend and delete everything in the bill. So what Otienda Molo is proposing is that there should be a bill that seeks to negate everything in that finance bill and that bill should be passed on the day the finance bill becomes low. That is the proposal by Otiende Amolo. <laughs> Personally, I think this time round, the person to watch is Otiende Amolo. There is suspicion that Moses Wetangula could be doing something to indirectly sabotage the process and allow the bill to, because of technicalities, become a law. By the way, it's not a bill right now. A word has it that it's now an act. So it's an act of parliament. So it, th th there's talk that, you know, th 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 there's some kind of sabotage. Because I remember seeing something from A.G. Muturi. Attorney General Muturi released a statement that shocked so many people. And he said, there is no need to convene a parliament session to talk about the bill because William Ruto rejected it. That is what the person who is regarded as the senior legal advisor of the government said. There is no need for a, a special sitting uh, for the parliament because Ruto rejected it. Let me give you a quick update. Probably this will jog your mind a bit. First, let it be known that Ruto already sent a memorandum on the rejection to assent to the finance bill 2024 to the parliament and the memo proposed complete rejection of the bill take note of that the memo is proposing complete rejection of the bill now the second uh, thing to point here is that Wetangula has already confirmed receiving a memo from the president and then proceeded to submit the bill to the National Finance and Planning Committee. That is what Wetangula did. And on a third part here, Eji Muturi, being the senior legal advisor of the government, shocked Kenyans when he said there is no need for parliament session because president has already rejected the bill. So who is misleading the Kenyans? What A.G. Muturi has proposed personally, I don't think makes sense. But what Otiende Molo has proposed makes more sense. Because Otiende Molo says that because it's an act of parliament, the president cannot withdraw it, cannot reject it, but there are processes within the parliament that can be taken to make sure that this bill is stopped. I mean, the act is stopped from becoming law when for example 14 days elapse and there is no concrete decision or concrete move which has been made to negate the bill then definitely that bill becomes law so that is why Otienda Molo is realizing that the best thing to be done here you know to avert any crisis is to come up with a repeal bill
you know that finance bill to have another bill that is only proposing to delete all the clauses in that bill i understand based on what otina molo said there are almost 100 uh, clauses in that a bill so he's saying a repeal bill should be constituted and this repeal bill will seek to negate everything in fact proposed deletion of all the clauses in that finance bill and this repeal bill should be presented on the date that the 14th day that's the day that the finance bill can become law on technicality <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have two or four players. We have William Ruto in this case. We have Moses Wetangula. We have Otiende Amolo. And then we have a G. Muturi. Of these four people, who do you think Kenyans should uh, stick to in terms of the advice? In the previous video, we talked about Tegu and Jiru's concern. That lawyer that has always been focused on uh, illegal arrests, forceful arrests by the UDA government. He expressed his concern and his concern was that the president cannot withdraw the finance bill. I think that is that I think what preceded William Bruto's uh, uh, statement of withdrawal was a memo that was done and presented to the parliament. And just like I told you, Watangula received the memos channeled lead to the National Finance and Planning Committee that will i don't know what it's going to do i have not uh, gathered facts on what the national planning uh, the finance and planning committee is going to do regarding uh, the bill but something will be done but the proposal by utienda molo personally naona kama hiyo proposal in a make sense because yani that is just trying to protect kenyans that at all costs the 14th day that the bill is supposed to become law another bill in akuja pale ya kuikata kukata kila kitu pale iko and then people vote for that bill in a petition na inakuwa ndio hivyo i mean that makes sense because that that way kama itakuwa hizo zote zimepita ile stage ya mwisho kuna bill ambayo inakuja kuizuia kabisa kwamba sasa usiingie ukaumiza wa Kenya hiyo bill sasa ikishakuja pale inakuwa imeprotect wa Kenya isiwe ni kwamba wa Kenya wale demonstrate wengine wakauwa wao pigwa tear gas wengine sio kwa wa maimed and the all man of things and then at the end of the day they don't benefit from uh, their struggle that will not be something good so the best thing according to Tienda Molo come up with a repeal bill the repeal bill will protect Kenyans against that uh, and popular bill that is why otiende talks about reading malice he reads malice in the whole process ladies and gentlemen what do you make of this proposal by otiende molo do you support it just go below the comment section and tell us what you support and tell us whether you support it and also i have told you we have ruto we have we have president ruto we have speaker wetangula we have attorney general muturi we have member of parliament rarieda otiende amolo who of this gent fourth gentleman who do you trust going forward who do you trust just go below the comment section and tell us whom do you think you can you know believe in at this particular moment because ag muturi is talking about no need for a special uh, parliament session probably according to what i see from ag muturi's sentiments maybe is is trying to make this bill pass um, based on uh, some some mistakes you know some mistakes and then say that some mistakes occurred so the bill became low ladies and gentlemen perhaps if you're watching this video and not subscribed take one second and subscribe like this video until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed